Alrighty. So, again, you can play these interchangeably um, with, with the solo. You can just, uh, you can follow the form, which means you would be in G uh, for four measures and then C for two measures and then back to G and then to D like the original solo, which I'm going to play for you. But you can also just um, stay in G. It's one of the great things about this music is you don't, you know, you have your form that you're doing for all the, the verses, but for the solo, you could just really stay here if you wanted to and play all your licks. Um, it's a lot easier, um, but if you want to change, you can, you don't have to. Anyway, uh, so the original solo. Uh, does change. So it has that hit at the end, so you can go, no particular place to go. Um, but again, all it does, this is a G major chord. And you're sliding into the G major and then going up and then back. That's it. Together, right, together, right, together, right. And when you go to the C, it's the same thing. You have a C major chord. You're just sliding into C, going up and coming back. Okay? Um, so the extra solos. Um, oh, the other thing is you can play them, you could play that here, you could also go up here. You could go up here. Wherever you want, it's fine. As long as the left hand is cranking away, you're just fine. Um, so the extra solos. So this one, really loosen your wrist. If you really tense, it's, it's a hard one to do. So you just want to... three of these for every one of these and on the so to start with just practice right just getting one two three one two three one when this is changing right back and forth but on the first beat you're gonna play a C sharp here C sharp and then page measure 43 you can see it happens twice C sharp C sharp and then C sharp and it doesn't again again that's one of those things you can kind of do when you feel like it right start with how it's written but then explore however you want to play it um, and again you can That's what they used to do. That's it. Uh, so now, at 45, yeah. Um, so this one, you are sliding from the C sharp to the D, and you're playing a G. Same rhythm as the original solo, but. And then at 47. that you can play uh, and then at 49 here the last one there um, you it's, it's kind of like that first one but it's uh, less notes it's uh -huh. right so there's two for every one that one too if you felt like it you could put three around with it you know yeah after you get it you get it and then you and then you kind of screw around all right thank you